Okay, here's a short little video. I didn't really show the process of doing this uh, as far as the grouting of the inlays and stuff. You've already pretty much seen that. But what you haven't seen is how we take care of the inlays between frets. Notice that the, the frets are still on the fretboard and we're doing the inlays. So what I've done here is I've masking taped the frets to make sure that I don't injure the frets. And we've glued them in here. And you can see, I don't know how much detail you can actually see on the video, but you can see the top fret I've already done. And it's finished and looks really nice. And now I'm working on the third fret. Now we've done the Viking helmets, which I talked about earlier. We'll show a little close up of this earlier, but what I'm doing is I'm taking my time very important to go slow on this and I am bringing the new inlay down to the radius of the board. Now it's very important that I keep checking it. Now this is a this is a radius checker. It's just basically just a piece of thin wood that's been radius to the radius of the board. Like all Gibsons, this, this is a, or the Gibson SGs anyway, this is a 14. And when I lay it on there, I can see I'm doing a good job, but the inlay is still too high. You can see it kind of rock a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep taking my time, going slow, filing down the pearl that's sticking above the wood so I can get that back down to the radius. I don't want to change the radius, so I have to be slow and I have to be deliberate. And I can feel this is getting very flat now, which is good, so let's check it. And I can see we still have a little high spot over here on the right horn, so I'm just going to come in here and take a few more passes with my file. And I'm getting very close now. There's about one or two little high points I can still feel. Let's check my radius again. Doing real good now. Just a little bit more. And I'll have that inlay back down to the radius of the original board. Now you just saw me flip the file. The whole reason why I flipped the file there is because one side of the file was getting clogged with pearl dust and wasn't cutting well anymore. So I flipped it over so I get a nice clean set of teeth. And I'm getting very, very close now. Very important I keep checking. Wow, we were really close, really close, really close. Alright, now I see a couple little spots of glue there that got in between the frets, so I'm going to come in with a lighter cut file, because here I don't really want to cut anything, I don't want to cut the wood, I just want to get a little bit of glue off. And I can see a little bit just right there, we'll kind of smooth that out a little bit. Then we're going to come in with a little bit of sandpaper, smooth out our marks that we made with the file. And there you got it. Beautiful. Now the a lot of people, a lot of inlay people won't do guitars with frets on them and there's a reason why. It's because it, it's a lot tougher to do this way. You can see it takes time. I probably could have done that same process without the frets on in about half the time. But then of course refretting is a whole separate thing and that takes effort. But you know, we don't mind doing it 
you know, with the frets on. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what this inlay looks like. Just going to take the camera right off the stand. I'm filming by myself today, so. And you can see that I have the first and the third fret ready to roll. It's looking good. I'm, I think we've okay. made a really good choice. Well, it took me about an hour. But as you can see, I'm done all the way down to the 12th fret. We didn't go below that because, uh, as you can see, it gets kind of tough to get the uh, tools in between those frets. Now, if you're looking real close, you'll see that there's like no gaps. This is what we call our growing out of the wood look. We use tolerances that are so close that you really can't tell where the shell stops and the wood begins. I'm going to throw a little oil on this. A little bit of oil. And wow, look at the color. I don't know if it's coming through on the video. I hope it is. Look at the color of that fretboard. When I got this thing, it was really dungy looking. But boy, a little bit of sanding and some oil. And boy, the, the rose color of this rosewood is just popping out. And this grain is just gorgeous.